it's about a month from the start of breeding on most spring calving dairy farms. I've gathered up some of the heat detection aids that farmers are going to use to pick up cows in heat and we're going to get a look at them. There are four main types. Firstly there's paint. Buy it in a gallon and put it on with a rush. You can also buy it in a bottle. Scratch cards are KMRs that are stuck on with glue. Thirdly then there's the teaser bull or the vasectomised bull which is a great aid for heat detection. And finally there's the new technology that has arrived in Ireland that's monitoring herd health all day every day. What I've gathered here is a sample of the products available and not an endorsement of any. With all these products they will work much better if the tail head is dry, free of hair and clean. Use a clippers to give the tail head a clip. Rub away the loose hair. A gallon of paint and a one inch brush is by far the most popular method used by farmers. The key with this is to use strong colours, red, blue and greens. And keep paint topped up on cows during the breeding season. Paint a strip four to six inches long and keep it well up on the tail head so that when the cow is mounted it takes more than one or two mounts to remove the paint. Some farmers will change paint colours every three weeks. Fine if you want to do that but more importantly keep paint on cows. Some farmers managing large herds will buy paint in a bottle that has a little brush built in at the top of each bottle. One of the more popular brands is fill paint and there are two main types an oil-based paint called Telltale and a water-based paint called Detail. The principle and method are exactly the same as using a brush. Make sure tail head is clean and dry when applying. You pay for convenience, but to some farmers, this is worth it. There are a number of products in the market that effectively are like lottery scratch cards in that you stick them to the tail head and when another cow mounts on that cow, the card is scratched and the farmer can see she has stood to be mounted. A lot of farmers use this type of device on maiden heifers, as in general tail paint does not work as well on maiden heifers. I've just two stickers here, but there are many other similar devices that can be stuck on, such as KMRs, Ambic, scratch cards, heat seeker bubbles, etc. The big issue is applying these devices to a dry animal and trying to keep these de devices on the animal. One product or glue that seems to work very well and is user friendly is Scotchwell 77 glue in a spray can. Like tail paint, if you can remove excess hair, spray on the glue onto the animal and on the back of the card. It is very important to leave the glue dry for at least 40 seconds. It begins to dry out and you will see by touching it with your finger getting more sticky. Place the card on and press down firmly. The advantage of the glue in a spray can is ease of use. There are other glues available but they can get very messy to use. Cost will range around one euro per animal for this device. There are some self-adhesive type products available, but farmer experience suggests they are usually not strong enough to stay on the animal, and you will need extra glue to make them stick to the animal. A teaser or vasectomised bull can be an excellent investment. You need to get the operation completed on the bull well in advance of the breeding season. A young bull with good size and is an ideal candidate for this job and some of dairy bred animals will have more vigour than pedigree beef type animals. The big issue with these animals is safety. They act and behave the same as full bulls. Fit a chin ball harness with paint to them if possible and they will start picking up cows a day or two in advance of actually when the cows are in heat. Don't let them into the herd until week four or five from start of breeding or they will be too tired when they really want them working in the herd. Finally, there are a range of new type devices that operate using either a collar or an ear tag that measure body temperature and or movement. The basic concept is that individual cow information is sent back to the base station near the collecting yard or milking parlour and the farmer is alerted of those cows showing abnormal movement, behaviour or temperature. These devices are especially suited to all year round calving herds where there are cows in heat for a good number of months. They can be costly and in general you are talking about a fee for purchasing collars or tags, a fee for a base station or central pro data processor and in some cases a management fee for managing the information.